Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com and SR4ULaces.com bringing you a tutorial video today on how to lace up the Nike Hypervenom Phantom 3 using a pair of SR4U replacement laces available at SR4ULaces.com. It'll be linked down below in the description and there'll also be a pop-up on screen. Now keep in mind that this tutorial is good for both the mid-cut DF version as well as the low-cut version of the Phantom 3. It is the exact same process. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so what we're gonna be doing is replacing the laces with a pair of junior length black reflective SR4U replacement laces. Uh, the reason why I'm going with junior length over regular length is just because the stock laces aren't particularly long. These are a little bit shorter than the stock ones, but the end result is a little bit less slack when you actually pull the knot, which I personally prefer. You can get away with regular length if you'd like, but if you want a little bit less slack at the end, junior length is definitely recommended, at least in my opinion. Now, whenever you're lacing a brand new pair of shoes or unlacing a brand new pair of shoes, you never wanna unlace both at the same time, especially when it has a trickier lacing system. So we're gonna leave the right shoe in, uh, intact and unlace the left shoe so we have the right shoe as kind of a reference point for exactly how the laces are supposed to look and go. So we'll unlace the left shoe as quickly as possible. I'm just gonna do this all in real time so you can see exactly what's going on. So basically with the top lace hole, obviously you have an actual lace, dual lace hole system versus a single lace hole. So all you really need to do is you can just pull from here until it gets to the end. Then from here, you just wanna push the lace tip through and then you can see it's gonna stick out right here. You wanna pull it out and then you can pull it out the second hole. And that's pretty straightforward. If you've ever unlaced a pair of Superflies or Obras, it's pretty much the same process all the way down. Now from here, things get a little bit more complicated because you can see with the lacing system for the Phantom 3, you have this crisscross loop flywire system. So when you unlace them, it's kind of inevitable but that the actual um, uh, cables themselves are going to lose their position that they're in right now. But again, that's why you leave the other shoe as a reference point to see how the other shoe is actually supposed to lace up. So from here, basically all you're gonna do is just pull the laces out. It's very, very straightforward. And you can see for the most part, as long as you're gentle, they will maintain their position for the most part. So that's definitely a good thing and that's gonna help you a lot in terms of just making it easier when you relace them, which again, it's not too difficult of a process. So again, at the bottom here, you just wanna be kind of careful, make sure you're not pulling anything too crazy out of whack because again, you could potentially do this and then you have two different things going in opposite directions and then you have to kind of figure out how exactly it goes, but that's very easy to fix if you do run into that problem. So this is what it looks like without laces. From here, we're just gonna open these laces up. Just grab one because we only need one right now. And again, we're gonna use the stock shoe as a reference point. So this is the one thing to notice and really the only quirk about this particular lacing system is that the way the actual flywire cables crisscross at the bottom is different from all the other positions. So you can see right here that the higher one on the shoe, if we're starting from the toe, if the toe counts as the lower part and this part counts as the upper part, you can see that the upper loop crosses over the actual lower loop. So that's the one that's in front and that's the case on both sides. Again, the upper loop is in front of the lower loop. So you basically wanna mimic the same thing on this particular shoe where the upper loop is on top of the lower loop. So from here, you basically just wanna string it through the first one and then string it through the second one and that's pretty much it. You wanna pull it through from here, let that hang over top, grab the other end and then again, from the outside, you wanna make sure that the upper loop is over top of the lower loop. String it through one, string it through the other. Again, it can be a little bit tricky, but once you get it, I'm just, I'm on camera here, so it's a little bit trickier for me. But again, I wanted to do this in real time so you can see what it looks like. But there you go. I basically got it up until this point. So at this point, now you just wanna make sure the laces are even on both sides. So what you do is grab both ends so they're like this, pull it all the way through, make sure it doesn't get caught on the toe, and then just make sure that they're even all the way to the end. So you can see that I'm holding them evenly, and then you're left with two sides that are exactly the same length. So from here, it's a pretty straightforward process. I like to go from the outside to the, to, from the inside to the outside, and then continue that pattern all the way up. So that's what I'm gonna do. Again, as a reference point here, you wanna make sure that the actual uh, lace holes are crisscrossing in different directions now. So instead of the upper one being in front, 
now that's in the back and of course the lower one is in front and that's the case on both sides of the shoe as you can see so we're going to mimic the exact same thing except now the laces are actually going to be passing through from the inside out so again you're going to have the um upper lace hole is going to be behind and the lower lace hole is going to be in front so you want to go through the upper one first and then make sure that you get through the second one just like that pull it through and then basically just repeat the process so again the upper one is on the outside the lower one is on the outside sorry so from here string it through it's just a little bit of fiddling with the shoe and fiddling with the actual flywire cables to get it to work basically you just want to crisscross from here but again you want to have the exact same pattern consistent from here on forward it's only going to be different at the bottom of the shoe and again if you get a little bit confused the best thing to do is to use the shoe that's already laced up with the stock laces as a reference point and you're not going to have any issues so just follow that pattern and it should be pretty straightforward if you do it wrong it's going to look wrong it's not necessarily going to be bad for the shoe but you definitely will notice when it looks wrong so you can see that again i've done it properly all of the loops are crisscrossing as they should be so that is 100 percent exactly how it's supposed to look and then from here once you get to the top two lace holes basically all you want to do is you go into the first lace hole push the plastic piece through a little bit pull it ever so slightly just so you have enough slack to kind of loop it around like this so then from here you just want to feel around for the actual second lace hole push it through pull it and that is pretty much it do that a second time and you are good to go and you have completely laced up your phantom threes with like i said very very little struggle i did this on camera it took me about a minute two minutes tops but again very easy process and you're left with the final result being a relaced pair of phantom threes that are done exactly the same way as the stock laces come all right guys so that is pretty much it for the tutorial it's a pretty straightforward process just follow the steps closely and you should be able to relace your hypervenom phantom threes without any issues at all again if you are interested in a pair of sr4u replacement laces the website to go to is www.sr4ulaces.com you'll see the website name on screen it'll also be linked down below in the description the very first link so be sure to go ahead and check that out if you have any questions leave them down below in the comments and i definitely will get an answer out to you if you enjoyed today's video found it helpful and informative be sure to support it with a like subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear you can find all of my social media information linked down below in the description as well and other than that guys hope you enjoyed today's video and as always thanks for watching